This video is sponsored by Raycon. More about them at the end of the sketch. It's the 90s. The year is 1996. Welcome back to the show. I'm here with our time-traveling reporter who's reporting live from the year 2022. Yeah, hi there. Hello. So how's everything going in 2022? I'm not loving it. I would love to come back to the 90s right away, please. Yeah, well, as you know, our time machine is broken at the moment, so... You know, no. Yeah, I mean, I'm getting pretty desperate over here, man. I'm even considering selling NFTs to make money to build my own time machine and get out of here. Oh, they have NFTs in the future. That's interesting. What, you know what an NFT is? Of course, I know all about NFTs. I got a couple myself. Let's get that graphic up on screen of me with my NFT. Check that out. That is a nice f Tamagotchi. That's not what NFT stands for. Oh, okay, you know what? I think I do know what you're talking about. You're talking about that new Nintendo thing that came out in Japan this year. What? Yeah, you know that freaking uh, Nintendo 50 tour thing they got there. That's not what that's called. Well, then I don't know what you're talking about. No, sir, okay, NFT stands for non-fungible token. They have tokens for that in the future? My doctor just prescribes me a cream. Ah. Where do you even insert the token? You know what? Never mind. I think I know. That's not appropriate for this show, by the way. Sir, non-fungible has nothing to do with a fungus. It means it's unique. It can't be replicated. So kind of like a custom pog? Yeah, except no, not really at all. See, NFTs are digital, so like a picture on the internet could become an NFT, and then you could own it. Okay, so non-fungible means nobody else could look at that picture. Well, no, they would. They could do that. But they can't save it onto their computers. Well, no, they'd be able to. That's something they could do. But they can't copy it. Technically, they could copy it. That's very simple to do. Listen, man, I got to say, it sounds like people are funging all over the place. No, because if you bought an NFT, you would be the owner, and there would be proof of your ownership. Where? On the blockchain. Oh, uh, I know what the blockchain is. You do? A hundred percent? Yep. I mean, I feel like you probably have some 90s-based misunderstanding of what the blockchain is. Nope, I do. I know it. I know this one. Okay, what is the blockchain? It's that thing where somebody owns multiple blockbuster videos. Wrong. Damn it! The blockchain is like this online public ledger where all crypto and NFT transactions are tracked and listed. Oh, crypto, huh? Sounds haunted. I guess, but no, it's not haunted. That's exactly what somebody trying to sell me something haunted would say. I swear I'm not, though. So anyway, when you buy an NFT, that gets listed on the blockchain, the fact that you have it. Okay, and so then why would you want to have one? To have one. I... Okay. And then you can sell it. To who? Someone who wants one. And why would they want one? To have it and sell it. Right. Yeah, I think people just try to sell these for more than they bought them based on perceived value. Okay, you know what? This all sounds very made up and silly. Some NFTs have sold for millions of dollars. Okay, you know what? This all sounds pretty cool and I'd like to invest. Yeah, I bet. But that's not really going to be possible since you die in 2004. Oh my god, how does that happen? Oh, fatally. Ah. So there are all kinds of things being sold as NFTs. Like, there's this whole collection called the Bored Ape Yacht Club. And what are those? Those are, I don't, they just seem to be pictures of ugly apes that you could own. Those sound pretty stupid. That's like one of the most valuable collections. Why though? Because people want them. Right. So listen, I'm just going to be straight up here and say I still don't really think I understand what NFTs are. Oh, same here for sure. I barely know what's going on. It kind of just sounds like a bunch of people playing make-believe. Yeah, but the same thing could technically be said about money and a lot of social constructs, all of which feel feel like they're teetering on the edge of collapse, please bring me back to the 90s. I mean, it can't be that bad. It sounds like people are trading pictures of monkeys on the internet. NFTs lead to a bunch of carbon emissions and there's still a pandemic going on and everybody's talking about World War III. Oh, holy sh- Hi there, hello, it's me, I'm the astronaut. I'm out here in ad space to talk to you about Raycon. So listen, one thing I really like to do while listening to music is headbanging so hard my doctor gets worried about me. Listen, you gotta stop headbanging so much. No. And that's one of the reasons I love Raycon earbuds so much. With optimized gel tips, these bad boys will give you the perfect in-ear fit and they won't budge no matter how much you're moving around. It's just that you're continuously whacking your brain against the inside of your skull. No. See, that seems like brain damage. Why are you making cow noises? Raycon Everyday Earbuds are fantastic. They look and sound better than ever. And with eight hours of playtime and a 32-hour battery life, you're gonna be doing a whole lot of headbanging to your favorite songs. How many fingers am I holding up? W. Oh no. Plus, these things are priced just right. We're talking quality audio at half the price of other premium audio brands. It's no wonder Raycon's Everyday Earbuds have more than 48,000 five-star reviews. And hey, you can click the link in the description box or go to buyraycon.com 
Raycon.com slash Ryan George to get 15% off your Raycon purchase. Thanks, doctor. So I'm all better now? No. <laughs> Thanks, doctor. So I'm all better now? You're not. <laughs>